So what you'll do is um, you'll go to Mercedes. Here we have a C-Class, 2016 C-Class, uh, C300. So you'll plug the scanner under the diagnostic port and under the dashboard. And then here we'll select Benz. You can do automatic selection. It doesn't always work. So we'll go to manual selection. You can see A-Class, B-Class, C-Class, E, S, CLA, CLK, CLS, CL. SLK, SLs, MGGT, GLE, ML, and GLE, G class, GLA, R class. Let's just go back real quick. Go to C205, and then we have a C300 or formatic version. So we'll scroll down until we find that. There we go. Now if you go going to be using the scanners for an extended period of time, you want to make sure that um, you have a secondary source of power connected to the car, otherwise you will drain that battery. You can also leave the car running, it's not recommended, but for some module it is needed to have it running. So uh, here we have control units and auto scan. If you do control units, you'll need to know which you, uh, control units you can have 30 or 40 control modules. So the best thing to do is do a complete auto scan. It will go through every module that this chassis could have. It will detect which one is installed in the car and it will retrieve the fault codes and tell you if there is any fault codes. So this procedure will take a few minutes. As you can see up here, we're only at 2%, 4%. And there's the engine control units, two fault codes. Control, transmission, or the VGS over there, and one code. Stability control has no fault codes at all. The airbag has five fault codes. This is my cluster, one full code and so on. So we'll wait a few minutes. So here it took a few minutes, but uh, we're done at 100%. You can see all the control units. Let's just go to the bottom real quick. 33 control units on this vehicle. Fuel pump, power steering module. As you can see, the shifter module has two fold codes. So several of them do have fold codes. Let's go really quick to the airbag control module. I see air conditioner has some one code. So SRS, Supplemental Restraint System, that's your airbag, if your airbag light is on, so you can see five codes right there. So you can read codes and erase them. Or you can see here, uh, all the codes. They don't have good descriptions as far as what's wrong with this SC service manual. The issue here is that you cannot uh, reset these codes because they say stored and current. So if it says current, even if you go back and erase them, those codes will come right back on. Um, you know, you, you will need to replace or repair those um, tensioners in order to clear those codes. So let's go look at another system. Let's go look at the transmission. So transmission is VGS, fully integrated transmission control. If you have issues with shifting, delayed shifting, things of that nature. This is where you wanna be. It'll take a minute to access that control module. But here you can see a couple of things. We have an extra option here, live data. You can read codes. Implausible left front wheel speed signal was received, but what we notice here is stored. So what we can do here, we can erase this code because it's in stored mode. 
that issue happened in the past. It's not a current issue. Press F1. Erase done. We need to turn off the ignition, wait 10 seconds, turn it back on. Press OK. And now the scanner is just telling us to do that. Alright, so we'll go down to live data. And here you'll see um, information from sensors. So you can see oil level check, speed sensors, shift program, gear chain switches, target procedure. You can do a quick, a quick erase there. You can uh, clear all the fault codes. Only the ones that are in store status will be cleared. All the codes that are current will, will just stay there. You won't be able to clear them. But um, And if, if you do know where which issue or what uh, module you're trying to diagnose, you can go directly to the control unit. Here we have the power steering. And that's, uh, that's all. Thank you.